Hey guys, Andy here, and I just wanted to come on here and say thanks. Thank you for all of your messages, comments, and everything, both here on YouTube as well as my other social meds. All that is greatly appreciated. It's really gotten me through a lot of dark times. And also, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. We had just recently passed that milestone. Quite literally, couldn't have done it without you. So, <laughs> thanks again. And in addition to that, I also wanted to talk about why I haven't made videos in a while. The main reason, if you guys have been following my channel, is that I've been doing a lot of job hunting. These past couple weeks have been getting pretty intense with the interviews. I've been getting a whole lot of them back to back, some days multiple interviews. So I've taken some time away from making my own videos to focus on that. In addition, I've also been picked up for a few uh, video editing and video shooting gigs around Japan. Putting that out on the uh, portfolio. In fact, I recently released a uh, new updated video editing and shooting demo reel. So be sure to check that out on my other channel, Edit With Andy. In addition to that, I've also been doing my best to um, get out of the house in between interviews and projects and things like that to uh, just socialize and um, take care of my own mental health as best I can. Um, as you guys know, in Japan, uh, mental health services aren't really much of a thing out here. So best I can do, at least the healthiest way <laughs> I can do, is uh, to hang out with friends. So glad for uh, my core friend group. Um, very appreciative of them for keeping me sane during these very insane times. I'm sure you guys are probably wondering, you know, what's going on with my visa situation, job situation, all that stuff, because um, right now we're getting pretty close to the end. Uh, but right now, I just don't have an answer. So the reason behind that is actually pretty positive. So I go in for my second interview out in Shonan, actually. So this is a, quite a rarity. Uh, I've been wanting to move down to Shonan for a number of years now, but it's been kind of hard to find work in that area. And even commuting up to Tokyo is a bit of a trek from Shonan. So it just kind of made it a bit of a difficult proposition. But I've still been holding out hope and looking for jobs in that area. And I managed to find one. And I did the interview. It was one of those uh, multiple interview days. So I felt like my energy wasn't totally where it should be. I felt a little flat in the interview. But the person interviewing me really liked me and what I had to say. So she decided to bring me on for a second interview tomorrow. That's basically when I'll find out my answer on whether or not I'm hired. So I have to do an additional interview with uh, the higher ups. And if I am hired, then that's going to lead to a lot of positive changes for me personally, professionally, and uh, we're seeing a lot of different locations other than uh, scenic Andy's tatami room here in Kawasaki. Uh, but on the off chance that I don't get accepted, then I do have a plan B. I don't want to talk about it just yet, but I do have a plan B just in case things don't work out and I have to leave Japan. But right now I'm doing my best to keep a positive mental attitude about things and just thinking that they will work out. I mean, if they brought me in for a second interview, I'm already in a pretty good spot, relatively. At this point, it's been, again, a very long journey for me here in Japan. Even just getting back to Japan, as you guys know, has been a hell of a journey. And to come to Japan with no post-secondary education, I just had my GI Bill, a little over a thousand bucks, and some clothes and stuff, and my camera, <laughs> and like my headphones, and that was about it, really, computer. Gone from that to having two degrees, uh, my associates and my bachelors, 
being the first in my family to graduate with post-secondary education. Like I said, I'm maintaining a very positive mental attitude about things and hoping I'll be able to continue my stay out in Japan. But if it doesn't work out, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And I'll still have my bachelor's degree, so should I not be able to find jobs this time around, the door's always open for me to find work in Japan at some other time. Anyway, with that said guys, just wanna once again say thanks for everything, all the messages, support, all that stuff. It does not go unnoticed, trust me. And with that said, this is Andy, sign up for now. As always, forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye. Hope to come back on again soon with a new update video. All right, bye guys. Pale 